Spaces are the second level of the ClickUp hierarchy, and they let you customize everything. They can be accessed anytime in your left sidebar, and you can click this pin to expand them. Spaces break down your organization into different departments, teams, groups, or really anything that you want to group at a high level. In this example, I'm using spaces to represent departments within my business. To add a new space, simply click here in your sidebar. Here you can choose to create an entirely new space, or if you've saved an existing space as a template, you can also create a new space from one of your templates. Let's create a new space to manage my human resources department. You can now choose to add some personality to your space with a color or an avatar. Next, you get to choose who has access to the space. Make it public to everyone in the workplace or private to select people in the workplace. You'll also be able to create statuses for your space. Statuses are simply the steps that tasks go through from when they're first opened up to when they're completed. You can add more complex status workflows simply by adding more statuses. You can even create done statuses for tasks that have been completed, but that you don't necessarily want to be closed out. Keep in mind that folders and lists within this space will automatically inherit the statuses you apply here. However, you can always override the space default statuses and choose different statuses for folders and lists. Now we get to enable Click Apps. Click Apps allow you to customize your workplace complexity at the space level. They're turned on and off at the space level only, which allows you to create spaces with simple workflows and spaces with more advanced workflows like in an engineering situation. If you want to be able to assign tasks to multiple assignees, just click the Multiple Assignees Click App. Alternatively, you can disable this to just delegate tasks to one person. You can also choose if you want to track time within this space or indicate priorities for your tasks to show if they are urgent, high, normal, or low priority. If you like to add tags to your tasks, make sure to turn on the Tags Click app and enable the Time Estimates Click app to indicate how long you think a task will take you to complete. With the Custom Fields Click app, you can add unique task columns to manage task progress, a budget, really anything that you can imagine. With the Dependency Warning Click app, ClickUp will give you a little pop-up warning if you try to close a dependent task in the incorrect order. With Remap Subtask Due Dates enabled, when you change a parent task's due date, we'll ask you if you want us to automatically change its subtask due dates by the same amount. By default, List View is the only required view for spaces, folders, and lists. However, in this section, you can choose if you want to add other required views like a board, calendar, box, or Gantt so that they're automatically created for you in this space and there's no need to recreate them manually. You can even make one of these other options the default view when you come to this space. Check out default view templates if you want to use a similar layout for all of your views. Simply choose a template for your views to use automatically. Lastly, simply review your space and create it when ready. Now we're ready to create our first list, which will act as the container for all of our tasks. To get started, just click on the caret icon to expand your sidebar and click on the plus sign. 
Since this is a human resources space, I'm going to create a list to manage all of the candidates I'm interviewing for new positions. From there, you can create new tasks for each candidate that you're interviewing. Keep in mind that lists can be created as standalone items, or they can be grouped within folders. Be sure to also check out our ready-made folder templates, which are perfect to help you get started with the hierarchy. As you can see here, we've actually created a couple of different templates specifically for human resources. Anytime that you wanna come back and edit an existing space, Simply hover over the space in your sidebar and click on the ellipses to access the space settings. Just note that you'll need to have admin or owner permissions in order to access this. Those are some tips for you to get started with creating your first ClickUp space, but if you have other questions for us, just let us know at help at clickup.com.